with the flags or anything like that? No, I don't. don't? No. What were you doing so those last couple of meters? Oh, I was just trying to one guy hold on, really. Did you think you had it at the line? I was hoping I did, yeah. Did you think, though? Yeah, I thought so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like I knew Leo had me last year. Going to the Olympics, how's it feel right now? It's good. Good. It's been like, you know, it's really been a year, a year build up. You know, so, I had a lot of time to think about it from your perspective. Little, it sounds a little understated. Uh, you know, are, you, are you happy? Like, yeah, I am definitely happy. Yeah. No, I'm glad I got in and I'm glad I did my job. And really, it's a prelim to, to do another prelim. So, hopefully, all can go well down the real. Are you getting flashbacks to last year that I finished with Leo again? Yeah, I, I, every time you race Leo, he's going to be in it. He's a fighter. and. I knew if I was going to make the team, I was going to have to beat Leo. That was my idea last year. So I make the team, I had to beat Leo. This year, I finally came up with it. Is there a point where you saw him right on your hip? That 150? Yeah, I saw him on the video board, and I thought, "Oh man, this is going to be a good race." So I was glad I could. Good race. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I don't. I always want to have good competition. It's never fun when somebody runs away with it. So it's always fun with shoulder to shoulder battle. So. Be top three. Do my job. Uh, yes and no. Um, I felt like I was pretty comfortable either way. I was glad that it went fast, just because I think it, you know, it kind of limited a lot of people. So, you know, came, kind of came, came down to the to the four of us. What happened with the Vila, uh, with, with the shove? He, he, uh, said, he, he, said he did not believe he deserved to be disqualified. Me? Yeah. He yeah. Said he, I, he said he did not deserve. Yeah, to be I think he just he just stepped in front of me, and it was like, you know, I stepped in front of Central yesterday, and he pushed me out of the way, and it's like. Racing is, you know, Rubin's racing, I guess, you know. So everybody's competitive. So, so what you, some flags went up. Are you worried about that at all? Uh, no, and I hopefully I'm not still worried about it. So I think everything's finalized. God, not, not, not this, not this again. So. 2012 trials, that final, the 15. Did you, did you watch it at all, or you were still working? It. A, you were working an exhibition at that point. Hmm? You were working in Colorado at that point, yeah, right? Yeah, doing something else. So now I'm doing this. Can you take us through that last 300? Because it looked like when you came into the final turn, that you might be overtaken. You came yeah, back and yeah. I was just trying to, you know, a great coach told me one time that, you know, you have to have three gears of, over the last hundred. You have to be able to go. Go again and then maintain. So that's what I try to do, and it worked. When Leo was coming up on you like that, how much of last year come into your mind, if anything? I try not to think about it, but really every step of the way, I thought, okay, Leo's going to outlean me again, and this won't be fun. But I got it, I guess. Did that drive you just last year thinking about the race? No, I try not to. Just try to do my job this year. What's your feeling to make it? It's really good. It's really good. But you know, it. For everybody here at Tracktown, they did such a damn good job putting on such a great meet. And, you know, it's just it's one of the best best venues you can run at, you know, throughout the world. How old were you when you started running? How many times? Seriously, probably like sophomore year in high school. So now, is this the best race of your life right now? Uh, yes, yeah. Haven't had really time to process it all, but yeah. So I didn't hear what you said about the about the little altercation on the home stretch there, but Eric said that he encroached in your line and he probably deserved a pretty good shove from you. Yeah, and I really think it was the first 200 meters, or first 300 meters. It was in the first yeah. lap. I think he tried to come out and I was right there. It was like either we're going to tangle up or one of us has to move. And it's easier for him to go forward. If anything, it helps him. So, <laughs> give him some momentum. Envision this happening. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I think everybody, whoever, every time somebody runs at a high competitive level, you know, their their goal is to get to U.S. Championships and run well. During that year when you were hurt, how long were you out? Uh, basically two years. Two full years, basically, of competitive running, and it's really been build up all the way until now, you know, three years of really solid training under Mark Rowland and to get me here. So that was in 12 when the injury. Yeah. yeah. Yep. So when, when you joined OTC, was was this always the goal, looking ahead to this year, like, we'll, we'll get you in, we'll get you some training, and in three years you'll be ready for the Olympic trials? Yeah, I think Mark might argue about that one, but yeah, that was at least my hope, is get ready for, you know, championships and definitely get ready for 2016. So, so. Was there a moment or a race where you realized that this was really going to happen, like that you were really a serious contender? Uh, maybe, maybe the prelim? The semifinals of this race, I kind of thought maybe I have a chance now. So. You didn't think that before? <laughs> maybe, I don't know. I don't know. 
Yeah. I try not to think about it. I try to take one race at a time. Did you assume coming in that this was going to be a fast race, knowing that there were so many guys without the standard? I, you know, I did and I didn't. I figured somebody would have taken it in one of the prelims to try at least go for it. And then when I saw uh, Yorks go to the front, I figured we were going to kind of wind it up. It's, it's, I so. mean, it's always kind of think, been there. It's uh, just kind of Leo it's been like a did it benefit you like, that the pace had been I don't know if I can do it. Harder, you know, uh, we kind of been working on the yeah. confidence and going like strength. Uh, hopefully, you know, I've been doing a lot of strength work. You know, if you looked at my training three weeks ago, you would have said, hey, you have a really good shot at that 10K. So, probably do pretty good in a fast race. Right, well, I remember you, you sort of talked about the USA indoors. I spoke to you. When did you, I mean, did you ever seriously consider that? Why did you decide to stay in the 15th? Uh, I think it was just probably the best choice I had, um, and the fact that I wanted to close out my 2016 year with a 15 felt like it was my best opportunity and something I could really do well. And, so. Thanks, Any the headlines from Rio, uh, all their various difficulties. I had, no, I just try to worry about what I can do to represent my country the best and represent my sponsor and do the best thing I can for my family.